Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cat Forum. My name is Sherry, and I'm your host. Today I'm recording a video that I didn't think I would have to record for a very long time. It's a video that no one wants to record and I'm not sure that anyone will even care about. It deals with grief and it deals with sadness. Last week I lost my bubbles. She came into my life when I needed her the most. She has been with me through so, so much. And I knew she was in renal failure, but she was doing what I thought was okay. I didn't see any outward signs that she was going downhill. And of course, you know what to watch for when your veterinarian tells you that your cat's in renal failure. But I didn't see any of those signs until the past few days. When she wasn't moving very much, she became very lethargic, and she wasn't eating or drinking the way that she normally did, so I knew something was going on, but then one day, it became clear that it was her last day. So, when a pet passes, and you make an announcement on Twitter, or uh, Instagram, Facebook, eh, anywhere, any of the social medias, or, you know, you tell your friends and they happen to know the phrase, they say, oh, oh, they're over the rainbow bridge now, they're happy, they're without sickness, they're, you know, they're just waiting for you. It's, it's a condolence phrase, but I don't necessarily always find condolence phrases to be truthful or honest because a lot of people don't know what, what they really mean or where they come from. So today, instead of wallowing, which is what I really want to do, I want to come on camera and I want to just bawl my eyes out and tell you how soft Bubbles was and how much I miss her and how wonderful of a cat she was. I'm going to tell you how the phrase over the rainbow bridge came, in, came to be, came into existence. That was in the long past, the 1980s. It is believed to have come into the zeitgeist back in the 1980s by a man called Paul S. Dom, who, Paul C. Dom, excuse me, Paul C. Dom. He first wrote a prose poem, which is a poem written in prose, in case you needed to know that and didn't know that. Um, which I am not going to read, but he later adapted it into a proper poem in the poetic style of rhyming. So I'm going to read that out in memory of my Bubbles, who was with me from May 1st, 2012 to May, uh, it's not May now, it's December, to December 2022. Let's get this, uh, let's get this going, shall we? By the edge of a woods, at the foot of a hill, is a lush green meadow where time stands still, where the friends of man and women do run when their time on earth is over and done. From here, between this world and the next, is a place where each beloved creature finds rest. On this golden land, they wait and they play, till the rainbow bridge they cross over one day. No more do they suffer in pain or in sadness, for here they are whole, their lives filled with gladness. Their limbs are restored, their health renewed, their bodies have healed with strength imbued. They romp through the grass without even a care, until one day they start and sniff at the air. All ears prick forward, eyes dart back and forth, then all of a sudden one breaks from the pack. For just at that instant their eyes have met together again, both person and pet. So they run to each other, these friends from long past, the time of their parting is over at last. The sadness they felt while they were apart has turned into joy once more in each heart. They embrace with the love that will last forever, and then side by side, they cross over 
together. So I'm sorry for getting a little teary-eyed, but I like to imagine that that's what actually happens. No one knows for sure not until that point happens for both parties, human and pet, companion, beloved friend. I hope my Bubbles is out of pain and I hope if you've lost a pet that they're out of pain and I hope that they're waiting for you at the Rainbow Bridge as well, especially in this holiday season when things are supposed to be happy and joyful and nothing bad is supposed to happen at this time of year. Things do still happen and life goes on, just like life will have to go on for me without Bubbles. And for now, that's where I'm going to leave this video. I'm going to put up a picture of Bubbles now. I hope you all... I'm not sure what I was going to say there, but... I hope you all take a moment to appreciate your pets. Just give them a hug, give them a kiss. Give them a little extra attention tonight from me. Just all the pets all over the world any anyone you can even the strays just show a little compassion show a little love all right friends i'm gonna say goodbye now and hopefully next week i'll be able to resume the four videos that i initially planned with starting with kittens so ciao for now cats and kittens